I'm Frances Crane. I came with my husband in 1980 when we bought this bungalow, which was new, and I've lived here ever since. I am getting very excited because I'm getting a new boiler and new valves, etc. My boiler was obsolete, really. It was very old. I've now got Paul Davis and, and Andy, the local plumbers, that are now putting a brand new boiler in. I'm dying to get it on. I hope to get hot water <laughs> so that I can get a bath. <laughs> I've turned the radiators off in the rooms I wasn't using, hoping I would get a bit more heat in the ones I was using. You just don't go out because it's too cold to come back to. You know, if you go to somebody else's house and it's lovely and warm and you have to come out of there and you come back and you think, Oh my God, I'm back in the icebox. And that's how it's felt. I've sat in a chair with a blanket on my legs because they're so cold. As the years have gone on, I've found it uh, more difficult to keep the bungalow up to, up to standard and the garden, etc., which is expected. In fact, I used to sit and work out how much of my pension I was going to be able to have at the end after paying the bills. I tried to cut down on foodstuffs to compensate for the other. I didn't have any benefits. I didn't, I didn't apply for them because I didn't know I could. And I just, I, you know, struggled on from month to month with a little bit of handout when I needed from my daughter. I had a letter suggesting that I might like something else done to my radiators. So I knew they were old and I couldn't turn some of them because they got stuck. I rang up and then it all started and I got forms and letters and everything else. This is the result, which I'm thrilled to bits about. I don't have to put bed socks and, and woolly jumpers on when I go to bed. <laughs> I tell everybody about it too.